Hello. This video is going to be a tad different, so please bear with me. So you can probably tell by the title what we're talking about today. I know Yule is coming up first. Fully aware of that, don't worry. Um, but we're already preparing for that. What we're not preparing for yet is in bulk. So I thought I'd put this now so that you have a clue for when in bulk comes around. So I'll start off with witchcraft in itself or personally green witchcraft. So if you're aware or not, um, as a green witch we don't really like create altars to um, or make offerings to like a specific gods or goddesses we don't really tie ourselves in mostly we don't really tie ourselves in with um, a Wiccan or other like non-Wiccan traditions um, and, like hedge witchery totally different it's just about learning different names for things for you to realize like what things are basically um, so green witchcraft is like not any of that it's similar we're on the same lines of course it's all witchcraft based but it's not it's under the same umbrella but we're not on the same branch yeah um, so green witches don't really have rules where like most witchcraft and wiccan traditions have like more particular rules to follow and i said with the gods and goddesses like following them as well it's stricter in other religions or if, if we're going to call them religions for the base of this video um rules and goddess and god um, god following is more um not green witchcraft if that makes sense so in bulk is usually like between the first and second of february it's traditionally an old celtic festival so i'd say probably ireland would do more naturally for in bulk especially like as a fire festival it's like a bonfire up on a hill to celebrate and cliches like that um it's the time or one of the times of the year with being a fire festival as well it's um this is like a time of year and for nature as well for like renewal and rebirth i would say um it's also good at this time with me saying renewal and rebirth if you have like a toxic attitude you feel about yourself you need to let go it's the perfect time to try and do that and um if you've got any like projects any goals you're aspiring to do it's a nice time to be able to jot them down and make maybe a list to see where you can go ahead and try to complete your goals so it's a good time to like if you want to subtly celebrate in bulk they're really nice quick little creative things that you can do um i said about rebirth as well it's also when we start having cute little baby animals about <laughs> such a cliche when i say about the letting go of like a toxic attitude it's really a good time as well to like you know like how at new year people will make a resolution and will become a new me to um make them feel feel good it's like that with the way that you can write down a resolution or say like write down a toxic attitude problem that you have and then also write down how you can accomplish getting rid of that um, so it's really about purification and cleansing and having this like new me idea. Yeah.
For me personally as a green witch what I would do at this time of year as I said some of the suggestions I have made and uh, personally I will probably be out in the garden probably surround myself with sage pruning and obviously enjoying the nature um, seeing the changes in the atmosphere in the old oak tree that's down the back of my garden and basically doing like cleansing rituals um, I will I will like you know like spring cleaning I will be doing things like that about the place garden mostly but also the house because I'm always doing that so I hope I've left you with a few ideas if you were interested in celebrating in bulk but really didn't have a clue where to go about it and you thought that maybe you had to do a big thing to celebrate it and wasn't sure what like tools to get in or anything like that I think hopefully I've explained some simple things that you can do with things you've already got around the house something simple quick cheap and easy to do so thank you for watching this I hope it was something different and maybe you've learned something thank you for watching bye bye